What is up, my friends? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome to my first episode of Trails Destinations. With each episode, we're going to be visiting another Trails Destination in the New York area. And I figured for the very first episode of Trails Destinations, we'd visit my favorite trail on the island. It's not only my favorite because it's like really close to my house. It's my favorite because it's got like three amazing trails. It's got, you know, uh, paved trails. It's got gravel trails. It's got soft dirt trails. It's got sandy trails. It's got rooted trails right along the lake. Let's uh, kick this off right now. So as you can see right here, this is an observation tower that was built um, in recent years. You know, I just realized that this was built um, a couple months ago. So this thing must have been shot up really quickly, you know, over the last year or so. Um, but as you can see here, these beautiful green trees, um, just a, a, a few weeks ago, they were naked. <laughs> You know, it was still cold. We've had a, a late start to spring. And uh, now you're seeing uh, the lake come to life very quickly. This uh, lake is nestled on the south side of Long Island, right on the, uh, the western, you know, beginning of, of the island. You know, if you're, if you're entering the south side of Long Island from the five boroughs, you know, you'll be taking the Belt Parkway right onto the Southern State. She's right off the, the like, exit 18 off the Southern State. Um, this beautiful three miles round of, of lake. Um, this lake is also paired off with two other small, you know, small lakes. So it's like a three-part <laughs> little area, three lakes. And um, we're going to be taking, with this ride, we're going to start off on this little gravel horse trail, and we're going to wind up um, dropping down to the lakeside trail. Now, this lakeside trail, once we get there, you'll, you'll see it, 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 the ride starts to slow down. There's a lot of loose you know, sand and debris, rocks, giant roots. The trail takes, it starts off slowly and then uh, it speeds up and, and smooths out halfway down you know, the trail. It's a great little mountain bike trail and I love to, a challenging trail for the, for the one wheel rider. I have yet to tackle uh, the lakeside trail with my hurricane yet, but um, eventually I'm going to give it a shot. It, it seems you, I have to be, uh, I'm trying to up my uh, skill sets with the hurricane. You know, it's not as maneuverable as the one wheel. But um, it was a beautiful day when I was doing this, this little ride here. Now the lake has, um, it's open to the public for a boat boat access so you can you know um launch a boat there's several small little boat launch areas where you can uh, hop you know small little boats canoes you know um stuff like that little rowboats and stuff small electric trolling motors are permitted but you need you know you need a boat permit and a fishing license to be on the lake but um yeah i see people out here all the time you know fishing they they stock they stock the lake with uh, trout in the fall you can also find largemouth bass, pickerel, bluegill, pumpkin seed. They got crappie, black crappie, yellow perch, giant carp. You know, throw people are throwing goldfish in there. So you got all kinds of stuff. You see a lot of birds of prey visiting, beavers, turtles, raccoons. I've seen. You know, I spent a lot of time by this lake. It's right by my house, and I'm, I feel so blessed to have it so close. And, and recently, they built. Um, a, tr a, a paved path that leads right to the lake from the Rockville Center side. That's usually the side where I, I access it from the Rockville Center side. But um, the lake kind of separates two towns, Rockville Center, and then you have um, like Lakeview on the other side, <laughs> Hempstead, the West Hempstead. This uh. This lake is man-made. It was built in like the late, late 1800s. That's a nice little view right there. Yeah, the, the lake was, was built in the late 1800s to be initially as a reservoir. It was supposed to support water to um, local Hempstead and Brooklyn. And then um, you know, later on, now we get out. I think uh, most of Long Island gets their water from, the, from wells, and the five boroughs get their water from the aqueduct upstate, you know, 
upstate reservoir, which is uh, really good water. <laughs> Way better water than what we get on Long Island. They get water from the Catskill Springs, man. <laughs> Yeah, what I love about this trail is that the trail, uh, well, this this part of the trail is it's nice and smooth. You know, you can really uh, open it up. You just gotta be, be mindful of people. You often see, uh, you know, horses. You'd be passing people, people on bikes. You know, it's. As the weather warms, uh, you see a lot of people uh, visiting this lake. The lake also has, um, oh, he, right here, we're, we're coming across um, the turn turning point of the lake, and you can see the uh, the western end, the western side of the lake. <laughs> but here's a little uh, bike path, you know, uh, closed off from the um, cars. And I like to open it up here, you know. <laughs> I take my hurricane on this little strip and I, I break it open to like, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour. It's so smooth right there. But there you can see the lake. Now we're going to be coming across um, the Rockville Center side of the lake. Now this is where we're going to drop down and take the lakeside trail. Now I call this trail the Badlands because it's a badass trail, you know. And I, I've... Uh, I swear, this is where I learned to one-wheel ride trails. Um, I just, like, one day decided I was going to try it, and uh, I kept falling and falling and falling until I start, started not falling, you know, and started getting better and better. We're coming up on the... the beauty, the challenge of uh, the draw of, of, of uh, in my opinion, to uh, the trails here. It's a great trail of elevation, of different uh, soil types. You, know, you have some really loose sand that we start off with. Here we go, we're gonna drop down. We're coming up on the drop down point. Now, um, you can't really tell from uh, the camera footage, but uh, it's a really steep drop. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I fell a, f a few times in the past, you know, dropping down because there's some big giant roots that can uh, derail you as you as you go down there. But um, you can see a little still shot of uh of the drop down point. So here we go. My camera winds up hitting a couple of branches on the way down, but uh, I secure the drop <laughs> without falling you really can't tell how, how steep that is it's, it's hilarious where you know with the camera can't really tell the, the depth but right now I'm, I'm dropping down and we're coming to like this a level point right here um the track starts off really slow i can't really go too fast or i'm just gonna nosedive this is like really loose sand here <laughs> but um the challenge is not falling off and slowly steer, steering around you know the roots and stuff and uh, no, I wasn't holding the, the, the camera also kind of like throws you off a little bit when I'm, cause I'm holding the, the camera stick. But um, boy, let me tell you, this is a lot of fun. And, and if anyone ever tells you that uh, one wheel riding or e-skating is not exercise, like hop on, hop on this trail and see if you can get through the first couple miles without, you know, panting. <laughs> you get a workout. Right now, your your calf and your, your toes. You, you, right now, your 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 body's working to stay on that board right now because <laughs> it's sliding all over the place. You know, good stuff, man. I, lo I love it. It kind of it, it kind of feels like almost like snow. You know, that soft dirt. But uh, yeah, you, like. How beautiful is that? Like a few feet off the, you know, right off the lake, you know. Right over here is a mostly single file. So if you see oncoming um, traffic, I usually just, you know, at certain points of the trail, you just have to, you know, step to the side a little bit. But for the most part, there's enough room for, um, you know, two-way traffic. 
And right here is where my one wheel always fails. This is like really deep sand here. But it's a nice little beach area where you can have a picnic, you know, and not too many people um, use this spot because you have to like, you know, trek it in about, you know, a mile in before you reach the spot. But it's a nice secluded spot right there. You can see somebody, uh, you know, it's got a little a kayaking right there and a little boat throwing a, a fishing uh, pole in there. But yeah, I get myself out of the sand pit and continue on <laughs> but uh yeah great little trail Hempstead Lake Lakeside Trail I also did a recent hurricane run using the cyclone tires and I did uh, a ride solely on the horse trail which is a lot of fun as well you can go a lot faster on the horse trail <laughs> but this is like there's like one spot on the horse trail where it's like loose sand and you just got to know where it is because if you go too fast on that loose sand you either, either nose dive if you're where if you're on the one wheel or if you're on the hurricane you're just gonna probably come to like a really halting stop where your tires get buried and you can get thrown off on the hurricane as well <laughs> gotta love the trail riding but boy, is it, is, uh, it's a different type of fun, different type of ride than, you know, riding the paved, the paved road, you know. Here's a little steep incline right here. But, um, making my way. Making my way. Um, for most of the lake, you know, total elevation is about 25 feet above sea level. The entire area of the lake itself and water is uh, 167 acres. It's a nice sized, you know, lake. Um, and for, for the most part, the, the maximum depth of the lake is like 10 feet. Um, I'm sure this, uh, if they drain this lake, you'd probably find bones and bodies. <laughs> I'm sure. This was like, from what I hear rumors of this being like a popular uh, mafia body drop off in, in like the 80s 70s and 80s but I don't know that's just rumors that I hear <laughs> but um yeah so as I'm coming towards the end of this video here the trail continues actually keeps going <laughs> and um, if you go to the right the trail laps around uh, Rockville Center or Malloy's Malloy College's uh, park, where they where they, are, they have the soccer field, of several so soccer fields. Where you and um, you'll go ac across this paved bike path. But um, yeah, now this is a uh, one of my favorite trails. Um, when, when I want a real workout, you know, this is where I, I, I go. <laughs> So ladies and gents, I hope you enjoy the little ride, Hempstead Lake. And uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more trails and destinations. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.